this video, I'm going to talk about ball striking. And in particular, this is the thing that I tend to think a large proportion of amateur golfers that I meet get this wrong. And these are people that I meet that either come through that door for face-to-face -face lessons or people that reach out for online lessons. And it's always the same problem. Everybody is apprehensive, anxious to make a good contact with that ball. And what would make sense is to cover the ball. Okay, get yourself over the golf ball. But the problem is, is it always depends how you interpret this type of information. And the movement I've just demonstrated there is the epitome of the problem with a large proportion of amateur golfers. What happens is, start, you know, even in a good backswing position, they start the downswing, the head starts to move forward, the trail shoulder therefore comes up and over, and the trail hip comes out. So from a face-on perspective, all of a sudden, if your spine angle gets this way, see the difference in my arms. So my arms are almost forced to get stuck up in this type of direction. What we really need to be doing is sort of almost keeping the head back and shifting the weight to the left as we let the arms drop down. And from a side perspective, again, I meet loads of golfers that get this way. It's the same problem instead of letting that club drop down. So I think the problem is, and this is what has a big impact to begin with a lot of students that I meet online is, you know, what are you tr doing to try and hit the golf ball? And most people will say, well, I'm trying to get over the ball. And I would say, well, that's true, but not necessarily the way that you're doing so it. So we do want to cover the golf ball, but we want to cover the golf ball by progressively moving towards the lead side in a rotational manner, not this way, this way. So I think a really good drill to sort of combat this is you can do the old feet together, probably is a little bit awkward. I tend to suggest put your lead foot, you know, a good foot in front of your trail foot. So in a position like this, and get your stance really nice and narrow. And all of a sudden, all I want you to do is I want you to concentrate looking on the back of the golf ball, and you're not gonna try and hit the ball too far, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna try and, first of all, try and concentrate on keeping your head looking down on the back of the ball. Now. Why is this important? Well, this is important because this is retaining the tilt, okay? Which basically means I'm not going this way with my spine. As long as I keep my head looking on the back of the golf ball, I'm maintaining a tilted structure. And the tilted structure really gives us that ability to get the hands coming down this way. If I go too vertical, my hands come this way. So what you're then trying to do is you're just trying to concentrate on your strike with this. So I would kind of get my students setting up like so and just keep the head back and just try and get the, the divot where you're striking the ground to either be located under the golf ball or to be located slightly further forward. So the way you get good contact fundamentally comes down to or comes more down to how your hands are working in the golf swing. You don't necessarily want to try and bypass a, a movement where your hands are working like this by trying to do this to compensate. You want to try and keep that head back and let your hands come in on towards the back of the golf ball. And the second thing that influences contact is, well, moving left. So again, this type of drill is good because it sort of has already predetermined an impact position where your weight will probably favor the lead side because it's positioned in front of the trail while maintain that tilt. And then all you're trying to do is just get this feeling of your hands coming down first so that you're hitting the ground in the correct location and what you'll find is that you'll get some nice, clean, crisp contacts, and then you can start to progress this little exercise further and further, hitting it harder and harder. Now, obviously due to the nature of the stance, you will feel that there's a limitation to how far you can swing through. But the whole point of this exercise is to teach your brain that you can control contact by keeping your head back bring your hands down as you shift towards that left side, same as this exercise. And what it will do is it will stop that knee jerk reaction to want to go this way, which I would personally say is the killer for about 99% of golfers that I tend to see. So you do want to cover the golf ball, but you don't want to be covering it this way. You want to be covering it this way. See you guys again really soon.